There are several molecular diagrams you need to be able to draw and also to recognize. The first here is alpha glucose. Pay particular attention to where the H and the OH are located on the first carbon on the right hand side, the H being on the top and the OH at the bottom. Because if you swap them around and you put the H at the bottom and the OH at the top, that makes it beta glucose. The next molecule is ribose. Whereas glucose was a six carbon sugar, ribose is a five carbon sugar. Now we have a saturated fatty acid. What I've drawn here is the condensed structure of that saturated fatty acid. The N shows that the CH2 is variable. You could have any number of the CH2s. Then you have the carboxyl group, which is on the left-hand side. And then the CH2, CH3 portion of the saturated fatty acid is known as the hydrocarbon chain. Then we have a generalized amino acid. The R on the central carbon is a variable group and can be any other element or group of elements that are attached to that central carbon. On the right hand side we have the carboxyl group and on the left hand side the amine group.